Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite beauty DIYs. I actually just learned about this and it seemed so obvious when I figured out like, oh my God, that works. So I'm so excited to share this with you. So coconut oil, I mean coconuts in general, are kind of like the it girl of the health food, health everything scene. It's sort of seen as like a panacea, like coconuts are amazing. They have, you know, monotriglycerides, they have all this like amazing stuff. And um, it's really good for you, really great on your skin, super soothing, and it smells good. So I don't know, I love coconut, I love coconut oil. Here's the other cool thing. Coconut oil is in a hard stage at room temperature. It actually will stay solid up to a pretty high temperature, which is really unique for oil. Most oils are in a liquid state, so coconut oil is kind of weird for that. But here's the cool thing, because of that, we can whip it up into a really luxurious body butter. And so that's what we're gonna do today. It's so simple, and what I love about this is it's basically one step, and then I'm gonna add some of my favorite scents to it. Typically, when you're putting something on your body, the less fragrance, the better. Fragrance tends to be a little more disruptive to your hormones. It also can kind of be irritating to the skin. So when I do add fragrance, I'm gonna add a small amount, but I also like to use organic essential oil because first off, it's organic, it's plant-based, it's not sketchy and weird, and it also smells amazing. All right, well, all I have here is a little sanitized jar, and to sanitize it, you just boil it in hot water, or boiling water rather, for about 12 minutes, and then you let it cool um, basically upside down so all the water drains out of it, and then it's sanitized. I then have about two thirds to three quarters of a cup of hardened coconut oil, and then you just add whatever oils you like for fragrance. So I have neroli, which is orange blossom, um, lavender, and vanilla, so this is gonna be really, really wonderful. All right, well, let's get started. So to make it, I'm just gonna take the coconut oil, put it in a bowl. So then I'm just gonna take my beaters. You can also do this by hand, but you know, lazy, so beaters it is. And I'm just gonna whip it up. So now that this is whipped up, I'm gonna start adding my essential oils. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. So I'm just gonna add one, two, three. The lavender. And then the neroli. All right, now I'm just gonna mix it all together. It smells so good. I'm gonna open my jar and then basically fill it up. Look how pretty. Mm. So the body butter's done. I'm gonna try some out. Ooh, it feels so good. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, I mean, this is amazing because, first off, coconut oil is so good for you, especially in the winter months. And then it's such an easy thing to make as a gift for somebody. You know, you don't really have to spend a ton of money and you can actually get something organic and really good for you and that your friends will love. And it smells so good. I love the scent of neroli. It's probably my favorite. Mmm, look how moisturized. <laughs> All right, so closing it up. And so here's the only kind of obvious thing. You do not want this to be anywhere hot. So store it somewhere cool and dry. The nice thing is if it ever does melt and you're like, no, my body butter, all you have to do is pop it in the fridge for like 10 minutes and then whip it up again. And then it'll be good as new. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed how to make this beautiful body butter. Please comment below. I love getting your comments. And otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.